The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. You want to do anything? You want to really relax? I recommend that you go to Bimini Bahamas. You tell the driver, hey, can we can we get coconuts real quick? We got to see a drag show on a cruise ship. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We got invited to go on a motorcycle cruise with 8-Ball Garage, which is not only a client, but also real good friends. And that's what happens. When you become our clients, they say, you know, we're friends. So we definitely said yes. Camino a la Harley, I'm gonna... I have ridden bikes since I was like 16 years old. That was a long time ago. However, once I got myself into the Harley world, you fall into a community. It's a brotherhood, sisterhood. It's just awesome. Besides writing, it's one of the best things in the world for me. So Alice and I went to this networker recently. She and I go to a lot of networkers. This one, we went to Hylia Park, this historical place. Oh look, people are betting on their horses over there. Oh, I guess they're betting on races elsewhere. Sometimes they're not quite as fun as we want them to be. And so then we decide to have our own fun. They've recently remodeled, but they've kept it looking like the old 1920s and 1930s. So it was really cool to walk around and then we found some little hidey holes and dark bathrooms and things. Jockey size things! Oh, Do we have jockey size toilets? Wow, this place was built in 1926, they said? Yeah, she was saying 1926 and then parts of it were built in the 40s and the 50s. Spooky! Alex scared the crap out of me and it, it was pretty awesome. We usually end up in Harley Davidson South. It's the actual meeting point between South Florida and the Keys. We're at Peterson Harley Davidson. A good friend of mine owns this shop. And we're going on a ride with a ball garage. This is the new road glide because Bert got the last road glide from 2013. Yeah. And this is the last one they made, that style. This is the new style. Alexa, what's this? We gotta get her in pink. One of the reasons I love riding my bike is because when I ride, I disconnect. It's one form of meditation for me. Those ain't little. No? no. We're in a really old, decrepit, empty racetrack. It's pretty, but it's kind of creepy. And all we've been seeing are animals. Flamingos, raccoons, ducks. <laughs> Just having some fun sometimes. Sometimes you gotta let loose. They brought this gorgeous little pit bull. And we already had a pit bull incident here in this house. That is cute as hell. So as soon as I saw that puppy, I knew what they were up to. The whole goal for bringing the puppy over was to actually try and convince my mother to let me keep one. And the answer is absolutely no. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> Why not? He said yeah. I don't care what he says. He didn't pick up the in the piss from the other one you had that looked exactly like that. Kind of like made me reminisce over my old one. You don't have time for a dog. I already went down this road, dude. We said we already have three puppies. I had one dog. I wanted one dog, and now there's three dogs in this house. Then there would be four dogs. I don't want it. I fell in love with them. I thought they were adorable and cute. And then Alex. You want the dog? You can move out, and you can have your own dog. You and your dog. Look, we're supposed to wear like a puppy. You can move Steve. out. You're 20 now, and you can have your dog. I didn't realize this one was here too. Hello. How are you? You know what it is, is when you get handed a little puppy. Man, they were so cute. You kind of hope it stays that size forever. This is a family meeting. <laughs> Lovely. I don't give a shit. Do something for me, man. I did something for you today and it went all out, you know? You didn't make it. Still did. Okay. She still tried. I tried. <laughs> Mom usually is never a bitch. She says yes for everything. But on this topic, it's a capital N with a capital new. And still to this day, it's not happening. Yes, and by the way, before you ask, why do we have so many sodas on the table? Because we just had a party a day before. So we just don't drink that many sodas. 
just in case. One night I was at Sebastian's house, one of my really good friends, my stomach kind of started hurting. I'm like, oh, well, whatever, I'll just take an Advil. I take an Advil. Later that night I threw up. I felt so horrible and like dehydrated, so I went to sleep. I tried to sleep it off, it didn't go away. I woke up, I threw up again, and that's when I decided to call my mom and say, there's something wrong, I think I need to go to the hospital. And all I saw was hospital. And I was like, what? Bert's like, what's wrong? And I threw the phone to Bert and I ran into my closet and I was like, just put on whatever, got dressed, got in the car, took off, threw him in the car, went to the hospital, and all this happened in less than 30 minutes. I arrived at the hospital and I was in excruciating pain because they kept poking, they're like, oh, it hurts here? I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, they poked it more. Started hurting last night. Why didn't you call me last night? Because it wasn't that bad. When a teenager tells you they want to go to the hospital, especially my family, you know something's really wrong. And we'll see what they say. Is that it? I'm not authorized to say. Hi, um, yeah, I'm trying to find out if my nephew is still therapy that transferred to Miami Children's yet. What's the last name of the patient? Oliva. Yeah, man. How you feeling, buddy? Alright. Yeah, he's better now. The morphine kicked in. So. I'm good. So where are we headed right now? Uh, Miami Children's. Miami Children's, okay. Alright, man, we'll see you there, okay? We'll meet you there. Bye, buddy. I have been in an ambulance but it was not something I remember because I was very young. It's kind of slow. I thought ambulances were fast. My mom and I were asking a lot of questions and they were just really cool people. My baby's in the hospital! Hey, boy. For real? Right when we arrived at the hospital, they took me to this room. So they have to get surgery involved. Our doctors have to evaluate you in the emergency department. Consult surgery, then surgery will come down. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the Family Show. And what I what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're going to do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.